Hello, and here we are again, back at the Learn Three Times Faster vlog with another coffee-sized video. And in this particular episode, I wanna talk about uh, a phenomenon that I think you're probably familiar with. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a course or a lesson or like a day workshop where the topic was something that you personally were really interested, really invested in, but somehow throughout the course, you're kind of losing attention, losing the thread, you have the feeling that the information is kind of going in one ear and out the other. And even though you kind of wish that you'd remember it all easily and you're interested in the topic, somehow it just doesn't really work. Well, today I want to talk about something that you can do to make it so that you actually, no matter if the teacher is really good or bad, that this important information will actually stick in your mind really easily and stay with you. You'll remember it way, way better. So that's what we're going to talk about in this episode. So if you want to prevent something like that from happening, what you need to do is what I like to call, you have to create a six dimensional picture of the problem that you're trying to solve by going to this class or workshop or, you know, whatever event it is that you're attending. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me try to illustrate by using a story. So, uh, a while back, I was teaching a few of my friends how to windsurf. We went to a little beach here that we have in Amsterdam in the summertime, and it's actually a great place to go windsurfing. But two of my friends never windsurfed before. So they asked me, hey, Flo, can you like teach us a bit? So I said, sure. And I'll actually do it using this new methodology that I'm writing this book about at the time. So we went to the beach. I rented two of these little windsurf sets, like a board and the sail and like the whole set together for them. And then I said, okay, here's your material go in the water and go try it out. And of course they said, but Florian, you, you, you said that you were going to teach us using this new method of yours. And I said, yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Go play. And so they again went, but you were going to teach us. And I said, yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Go, go play a bit. And so they went into the water and I didn't tell them anything. And so for about 20 minutes, I just let them kind of fool around and of course there were other people around windsurfing so they had plenty of material to kind of look around and see what other people were doing and experimenting a bit with that themselves and of course after 15 minutes or so both of them were actually standing on the board and they'd figure out how to kind of raise the sail out of the water and they were just kind of succeeding already a little bit and at that point i said okay guys come back off the water and then i started giving them some instructions now what I did there is I first gave them the opportunity to create a good six dimensional picture of the problem that I then, through instruction, wanted to help them solve. See what I mean there? So our body creates pictures of the problems that we're trying to solve all day long, but it does that through our five senses and what I like to call the sixth sense, which is kind of the combination effect of all our senses together. So you have a visual picture, you have an auditory picture, you have the, uh, the, the physical picture of how it feels like what you're doing, kind of the senses that you get back from you know, your body, like a tactile picture. You have you know, the balance and the weight and all this type of different information that you get from your body that goes to your brain. And so the difference is, if I had to put them on the shore and right away started telling them like, hey, you need to do this and this and this, I'd be telling them about something that their brain doesn't really have a good picture of yet. So if your body doesn't know how heavy the mast is or how difficult it is to kind of balance a sail in your hands when you've never done that before, or how hard it is to balance yourself on the board when it's kind of wiggling on the water there, and I'm telling you about these little details, that doesn't really take into account all this little six dimensional information that you can only really get by experimenting, by doing it. And so this goes actually for any skill you learn. And the thing is that apparently, also scientifically, the brain works a certain way, which is that it kind of creates a problem first, or it has to create a problem, like a neural network actually of emotions, of pictures, of feelings, which creates the problem situation, let's say, that formulate the challenge really well, and then you can start putting a solution to that challenge. And so kind of all the information in your brain is kind of stored in the format of 
challenge, solution. And together they create kind of a story. That's how our memory works. And so if you don't start the story with a good six dimensional description of the problem, then it's really hard for the brain to kind of write the rest of the solution because the solution won't really stick to anything because you don't really have the problem yet. And if there's no problem and you're just throwing in solutions, they don't really stick to anything. So this is the reason why our heavily dependent on instruction education systems that we have in schools, universities, basically anywhere, we start often with a lot of instruction and it just kind of flies through our brain and it can't really attach to anything. While if you turn it around and you put some actual experience, some actual practice with whatever it is that you're learning up front, then you give your brain the ideal moment, the ideal experience to really create a full six dimensional picture of the problem with all the little details that you need. And then if you give people only a little instruction, they actually learn way faster. So that's one little element of extreme learning that's really key, it's really interesting. So next time you go to a course or to a workshop or whatever, and you're trying to learn something, make sure that before you go there, you get a good amount of actual practical experience with whatever it is you're going to learn there. And you'll find that just by doing that, without any extra effort, your memory somehow comes alive. And even if the teacher isn't that good, all of those little itty bits of information stick into your mind really easily because you've kind of sown the seeds for your memory to have like an optimal function. So that's what we call creating a good six dimensional picture of the problem first. And it's a really important step in learning anything. So hope you found that interesting. Of course, uh, give this little video a like. Uh, if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more videos, lots of them coming soon. Uh, the Dutch version of the book is coming out on the 6th of February. It's already uh, available for pre-order on the website, learn 3 timesfastercom So also keep an eye out for that and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.